Hey guys, welcome back to Freak Motion. In today's video we are going to make this kind of spiral animation inside of After Effects, without using any third party plugin. So let's jump into the After Effects, and let's get started. Alright, let's create a composition with normal setting. Give it a name you like. First, take the pen tool, and create a straight line like this. Make sure you choose the gradient stroke. Choose the colors you like. Increase the stroke width a little bit. Open the layer. Click on this add button, and add twist. Open twist. And increase the angle value to a high value like this. Either you can use full size, or you can decrease the size so you can see the effects properly. Now click on this add button, and add trim paths. We need only a cycle of this twist. So let's change end value to 0, then add keyframe on end. Then go forward to 1 second and then change the value to 50. Then do the same for start value also. Now, just offset the start keyframe by few frames. After that you will get this kind of animation. Adjust the keyframe a little bit. Select all the keyframes, and easy ease them. Now, open shape. And change the butt cap to round cap. Let's open taper and change the start length to 100%. So after all the animation should look like this. Now, open wave, and change the units to cycle. Then change the cycle value to 2. Also increase the amount to 100%. You can adjust the stroke width if needed. Close all of these. Go to Add, and select Repeater. Then open Repeater 1. And change the copy's value to 10. Open Transform option of the Repeater 1, and change the position value to 0. By doing this, all the copies will be in center. Now just change the rotation value according to your need because, now the whole animation will depend on the rotation value. Somewhere on the middle of the keyframes, add a new new keyframe on copies. Then go forward to end of the keyframe, and change the copies value to 1 or 0, so the tail will resolve at the end. You can change stroke color anytime you want. You can take solid color, then apply tin effect or any gradient color effect to change the color of the stroke. Like this. Go to the effect, and add fastbox blur.
increase the blur amount by 4 to 5. Then add glow effect on it. Adjust the values the way you need. Just check the possibilities by changing the threshold, radius and intensity values. Select the glow effect, and press Ctrl plus D to make a duplicate of this glow effect. Adjust the value for this one also. Just make sure, the color should blend properly, and the glow should be decent. Not too less, also, not so much. And that is all for this kind of animation. I take spiral, but if you take slightly wave lines, then you can get some cool different results. But the technique will be same. I really want that you guys try that also. So this is all for today. I know, I am quite irregular nowadays. I am really sorry for that, recently, the days are way too busy for me. Anyway, whenever I get some time, I will keep posting new video every time. So, thanks for watching the video. Hope you get something new from it. See you guys in the next week, till then have fun, and stay safe.